In this video, we're gonna teach you what you need to know to plan your trip to Bryce Canyon National Park. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're at Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. If you're new to the channel, this is April. Hey, yo. And I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Joy the, the journey. journey. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're planning their trip to Utah's Mighty Five, they don't give themselves enough time. Plan double or even triple what you originally think for each park. Which we recognize might be very challenging depending on your life circumstances, but. Or just pick one park and kind of just enjoy it. Yeah. Difference is to drive from Zion to Bryce, it's a long drive, you waste a half a day and you don't want to do that drive at night. Too many deer, too many elk, too many moose. That's cool, that pattern. Yeah. I don't think it'll turn out. Like an ancient wall. Like cake. Cake? Doesn't remind me of cake. Just a quick environmental tip. This trail, it's really not a trail. When you see a bunch of rocks blocking it off or out here a bunch of dead trees, don't go up there. It takes a long time for the desert to regrow. We got way too many people that come out to Bryce Canyon to rake any more havoc on this beautiful land. April's always hopping from shade to shade. Well, I have to. I've There's not to. much shade out here either. I have uh, skin cancer in my family and I've had a spot myself. Gotta be careful and wear the sunscreen. Yeah. Like you walk around the corner and all of a sudden you just see some amazing view and you're just like blown away. How is this more amazing than the last view? Windy, windy, windy. Yeah, windy is not our friends. So sorry about the wind noise. Where? The noisy one? Yeah, where is it? I don't know. Just listen. It sounds like it's right up here. But you know how it is. It's like elusive. You don't hear it? No. Oh, I kind of no, hear it. No, that was a different one. I'm not sure if you can see those hikers over there. But that gives you a perspective of how large this place is. If you look up here, I believe we started somewhere over in this general area. No way back. I don't know, lots of zigzags. Yeah. If you got balance issues. Or vertigo issues. A good idea is to bring some. Trekking poles. They don't need to be, you know, super fancy. Just to give you stability. Definitely something I'd suggest you getting for your Bryce Canyon trip is obviously a camel bag or a hydration pack. Get them off the internet, they're very inexpensive. Get one that has pockets in it, that way you can bring some snacks with you and at least two liters of water per person. Definitely don't forget your sunscreen. It's not even summer and we're burning. It's because we're coming out of hibernation. You got sunscreen on your nose. You wanna get it? No, not really. Where? Right there. You're good. It's all fixed. No more burning for you. This is a sinking steamboat. Yeah, see how it looks like it's sinking? Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at these sewages. It's just not the same when you get down and you hike down into this and you see the hoodoos as seeing them from above. You earn every step of this hike, but the reward is amazing. We're hopefully heading up now. We've been heading up for a while. We hope we're getting near the car. This uh, eight mile track, it's a doozy. It's more than a doozy. I mean, you can see the incline. It's been this way for a long time. But you also get magnificent views like this. Have you seen anything like this in any other part of the world? We saw something similar to it. We saw hoodoos in Bulgaria. They're definitely different than this. At this point, we're trying to go do the whole fairyland loop, the whole eight miles. Because Wayne's a slave driver. 
April's not happy with me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like precipice. See the card above. Check it out. The rocks are purple. Not just the red and the yellow and the gray. Even that greenish color. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's insane. This looks so different right. with the green trees. I even like it better. Uh, yeah, I like the green trees with it. It gives it real depth. It's amazing. These hoodoos are so incredible. To think these are hundreds of thousands of years old, I don't even know, but they're really old. And they change all the time with the rainstorms and the snowstorms. It's like Mother Nature's artwork. We made a uh, huge mistake. We had our two liter of water that's in our camel bag. And then both of us thought the other person put the extra liter and a half in there and we didn't bring it. April knew. She just likes to tell me I told you so. Hey, when I get an opportunity to be right, that doesn't happen all the time. Take advantage of it, huh? Damn straight. Anyway, make sure you bring lots of water with you. We just realized that we have two more miles left on this trail. We are dehydrating something bad. I am so thankful April had some gum in her in a camel bag. At least it makes you feel like you're not dehydrating half as much. If you were in the middle of the summer and it's 120 degrees, I think we'd be dead. Well, if you're out here in 120 degrees, you're insane. Oh, busiest time in the park is in the summer when everybody's here. Every time I'm here, I think about my how my love for this park was sparked when I was like maybe 10. I had this postcard on my bulletin board in my room, on my wall, my whole entire growing up years came to visit I think it was the second time in that time frame. Anyway, I loved that park from afar as a girl growing up in Florida. And now I get to love it so close by. Yeah, we and come I love here all that the time. I can love it that way. We come to Bryce a lot. I see our car. Thank God. The last three miles with no water, so dangerous. We're so glad you guys could join us on this journey. You want to chug it, but you shouldn't. Oh my God, I don't even want to breathe. I just want to drink water. Tell us about it, April. I'm like part in the sun, part nod. I'm so sick of the sun. She beat down on us hardcore today. What am I doing? Talking point about the bringing your sandwiches. Hi. Here's a sandwich. So if you want to save money, bring that stuff in your cooler to make sandwiches or what we call hood witches. Yeah, if you fly into Vegas or if you fly into Salt Lake City, our suggestion is stop at a grocery store there, grab you a styrofoam cooler, put it in the rental car, fill it up. Because when you get out here, the smaller towns that are out here, they don't have a lot of stuff in the grocery stores. They're literally the size of convenience stores. After an eight mile hike, you would Sorry? not believe how good a turkey sandwich tastes. <clears throat> I'm almost like delirious from that. Don't you feel like? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm like still like full on dizzy. What made this so hard was the fact that it goes up, it goes down. It does switchbacks. It goes up, it goes down. It does up and down with switchbacks. And then it goes up and up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> too soon for me to say it was worth it. I'm sure I will. I'm still grumpy from those freaking last three miles. That was like serious, serious danger stuff. That could have turned really bad really fast. No, and then we could still feel the effects of it later tonight. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was just those three miles and then right. bam, we get to the car and we're okay. We could still feel it for at least another 12 to 24 hours. Mm -hmm. You hear the sound of the motorcycle? It's just, that's the awesome way to see these national parks is on a motorcycle. We have a video on it. Card above. It's not one of the best, 
videos, but you should still check it out. Ask me later tomorrow if I think it was worth it. I mean, I joke, I jest, right? I'm giving Wayne crap, taking some of my pain out on him. I but, deserve it. But yeah, of course it was worth it. It was not necessarily the smartest because we were not at the physical fitness level would have been optimal for doing over 10 miles today. And yes, I will be saying over 10 miles, even if it's only 0.2. <coughs> and especially we were not prepared with the whole freaking water fiasco. That was our mistake. But we should have put the water in that was sitting next to the bag. Incredible. Even though my knee is screaming at me right now. I'm gonna check my stepper app. The most we've walked in a long time. <laughs> What's your guess, Wayne? 15,000. 22,140 steps. 10.2 miles. I'm now skinny. No. <laughs> no wonder I am obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. We wanna thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, Hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life. I think mine's better. I think it is Vote too. below.